Here's the next one we're going to do with transformations. This is a new base graph. Each of these has a cube root. So here is your base graph for the cube root. Goes through 0, 0, negative 8, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, goes through 1, 1, and 8, 2. So this is the, the graph that we're going to be working with for both of these. So now we know what, what the base graph looks like, we're ready to do our transformations. This means that you're going to move the base graph one place to the right and up two units. So I always start with the zero, zero point. And so the zero, zero would be right here. I'm going to move it one to the right and I'm going to move it up two units, which means that right here, this is going to be my new zero, zero. So normally it would be here, and now the center of the graph instead is going to be there at one, two. I want to get the other point, so let's go this direction first. So if I go this direction, to get to one, one, I'm going to go one to the right and up one unit. So I'm going to do that from my starting point. I'm going to go one to the right and up one unit. So right here is going to be the next point that's going to be on my graph. If I want to get this one, what I do is from the starting point, I go eight to the right and up two units. So from here, I'm going to go eight to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to go up two units. Now the two, normally it's at zero and you're going to go up two. However, right here, you're actually starting from two. So you want to, you want to go up two more from here, which means that it's going to be up here at four. So that completes this section of the graph here. Now I want to go down and complete the other section. To get that, you're going to go down one and one to the left from the starting point. So down one, one to the left right here. That's going to be the next point right there. If I want to go down to negative 8, negative 2, from the starting point, I would go down 2 and 2 to the left. So I'm going to do the same thing from the starting point here. I'm going to go down 2 to here. I go 8 this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means right there is my, that would be my x intercept where it would cross there. So now I'm, I'm going to connect all this so the graph will look like that. I can indicate my two intercepts, my x intercept, if I look at where it crosses here, it's going to be at negative 7. My y intercept, it crosses at 1. Now, I want to look at this one. So this one has a flip going on. There's a negative on the inside. Anytime you have a negative on the inside, that does a flip this direction over the y-axis. But first, I need to move it 8 places to the left and up 2. Notice that I'm working with what's inside the parentheses. You don't want to multiply the parentheses out and distribute the negative. You don't want to do that. You actually want to leave it in this form. You want to have the negative on the outside. The x uh, has to have a 1 in front of it. So this is perfect the way it is. I, just want to, I can go ahead and start using transformations from the way it's written here. Plus 8 means I'm going to go 8 places to the left. I'm also going to go up 2 units. So from the center right here, normally it would be at 0, 0. Instead, I'm going to move that center point 8 places over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And up 2 units means that it would be right here. So that would be the point negative 8 and positive 2. That's where the, the center of the graph is. So instead of it being at 0, 0, it's now going to be centered here at that point. Well, the negative, what that's going to do is a negative flips the graph over this direction. It's flipping it over the y-axis, this direction. So I'm going to draw in this dotted line. This dotted line is going to be what that's going to look like once you actually flip it over the y-axis. It's going to be drawn this way. So the same way it's drawn here with our base graph, that's the same way you're going to draw it in over here. So now we have our key points so we can, we can get accurate on our points when we're drawing that in. If we start from this point and I'm on this dotted line, I want to get the next point down here. What I would need to do is go to the right and down one unit. That's what I'll do from here. I'm going to go one to the right and down one unit and I get this dot right here. From the starting point, if I want to get to this point, which is reflected so it's actually down here, I'm going to go down two and eight to the right. So from the starting point here, I'm going to go down two and eight to the right we notice right there it actually goes through uh, the origin. That's going to be my x-intercept and y-intercept. In fact, I can just go ahead and put that down now. I see that it's going to cross through right there. So I know my x-intercept and y-intercept are both going to be 0 because it goes through that point zero, 0. Now that takes care of this section of the graph, but we're not done yet. We have to get this section still. 
So there, you're going to go one to the left and up one from the starting point. Here's my starting point right here. One to the left and up one is going to be right there. Next, if I want to get this point here, which would be the reflection of this one, I'm going to go eight to the left and up two from my starting point. So from here, I'm going to count over eight. So uh, this is eight all the way over to here. I'm going to go up two from the starting point, which means that it's going to be right here. So now I have these points that I can connect together, and that's going to be my graph. You see again that the graph does go through zero, zero, and that's my two intercepts. X-intercept and Y-intercept are both going to be zero.